All right, I totally just remembered something that we got some stuff for the kids yesterday and uh, left it in the car and it's very sensitive to heat. So let's see what uh, what problem we have here. Oh my God, it's the Easter chocolates for the kids. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me see it. Let me see it's it. every single one. Oh my, why they were cute bunnies. Oh shit. All right, so we got a little issue guys. Hello? Hey, good, how are you? Ryder, mommy had to go on a phone call, but what do you think about your Easter bunnies? So good. Are you gonna, Ryder, are you gonna eat these? Sure, <laughs> if they freeze. Sky, what do you think about your Easter bunnies? They're five dollars. What, what do you think, Leighton, about seeing a gabagoo of Easter bunnies? They're melted. All right, here's what it looks like when you leave your Easter presents in the car on a hot sunny day in Florida. <laughs> All right, we're gonna show you what a day in the life looks like of a full-time content creator, because that's what we do. We create content all day, every day. And today's a move day, so we're gonna be packing up our whole RV. We gotta go on a thousand mile journey to Elkhart, Indiana. And then along the way, we're gonna have to stop and meet up with Battleborn to do a Battleborn shoot and uh, have a whole bunch of fun. So let's get to the video and check out what it looks like in a day in the life. So today is a move day and we had a torrential downpour yesterday. So a lot of stuff got wet. So what we had to do is just take everything and lay it out here in the sun and let it dry out. So it's gonna loop back at the RV, but this is all our stuff out here just chilling in the sun, drying out. We've had Roxy for about a year now. And since we travel full time, we don't have a vet that we normally go to. So we found this awesome canine first aid kit from a company called Rec Pro. They actually specialize in RV accessories, but I love that they paid attention to the additional family members that RVers have and created this kit. And Sky here is an absolute survival prepper. She loves her kits. So Sky, why don't you, I know that you want to claim this one for, to be yours now to take care of Roxy. So let's see what's inside because we just okay. used it the other day. I love to take Roxy on hikes. So after every single hike, I have to check her to make sure she doesn't have any text. We got this amazing kit and we just used this really amazing thing a few days ago because Roxy, is, she's very interested in it. She loves it, huh? We used this tick remover. It helped her get a tick out so she didn't get like Lyme disease and stuff. It, but it basically has all of the essentials that you would yeah. need, even nail trimmers. Nail all these trimmers. little, and they're so cute. So this is a definite must have if you have pets, especially when traveling on the road, because I know from first hand experience, it's really hard to get to the vet. So we'll have the link down in the description below. Let's get back to loading up this RV because it's move day. We spent the last month here at a wonderful RV park called Reagan's Family Campground. Today is not Easter, but they're having an Easter egg hunt here because everybody's getting ready to leave in a couple days and that will be Easter. But let's just have the Easter egg hunt here today. Let's check it out and see what we got going on. There is 103 families here. Let's go see if we can find somebody. Hey, who we find over here? Hey, we got Kate White over here. Podcaster extraordinary. Hello. What's up, Hello. How's it going, fam? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's like summer camp for the whole family. It's amazing. So many That's friends for a whole month. The thing that we all love about the nomadic lifestyle is that you get to leave after a while and you get to have new adventures. So 30 days sitting still in one place is uh, it's a lot for nomads, I feel like. You feel like that? I do feel like that. I'm ready I think to we go. all start itching, right? Go back to the beach. All right, the oh, beach. Me too. That's our that's our love language, the beach right there. So we're headed to the cold mountains though after this. So what are you doing? Collecting eggs. How many have you found? Twenty five. Five are for my brother because he's sick right now. So. Aww. It's been a great time. The kids are having a blast. Yeah. Running around the community. I mean, I love it. I could stay for another month personally. Yeah. Uh, I had a team of two and including me. No, not including me. And we all split up and we're splitting our eggs. All right, Nixon doesn't want to talk very much because she's uh, in work mode. Fine here, Max. I found the golden egg. Oh One God. out of 20. So my strategy was to go on this mini golf, as many kids weren't in it, and then I'm gonna go back to the jump pad because many kids weren't over there. But while we're out here looking at Easter eggs, let's just talk about Reagan's family campground for a minute. Right here, we got an awesome volleyball court, and this is kind of like one of the coolest parts of it, a massive water slide right here. Oh, look at that, and a lazy river. How cool is that? Not only do they have all that other cool stuff over here, but they have a train that you get to ride around the campground. It honks at everybody. Let's go find some other unexpected friends to talk to. What's up, Tyson? Yeah, we got an Easter egg hunt? Crazy. Someone said 10,000 eggs. And of course, my kid found one. One egg. I don't even know how that's possible. The golden egg, I guess, is what you're supposed to be out here finding. I was standing right next to one the whole time. Is that how you guys travel often? You don't have anywhere to stay? Nowhere. Nowhere. We wait for the best idea to come along. And no one's given us any idea for this weekend, so. I was going to ask you how to lock what? that thing. I was afraid someone's going to steal it? No, no, no. Like, when I, when I try to turn it, it keeps trying to, like, stay focused. Well, maybe it's an operator error. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was. All right, we're going to go find some more people to All talk right, to. Good luck. Hello. It's been a lot of fun. There's been a lot of activities. Kids gone wild. It's like uh, we spent five months alone on the road. And so coming here and literally meeting all of the full-time families has been awesome. My kids have amazing friends. We have amazing friends. So we're leaving here with our hearts full this winter. Okay, so we are doing an Easter egg hunt. You have to get letters and then you have to get a golden egg. And I've got like 11, I think. <laughs> so the Easter egg hunt is over. Each kid was allowed to get up to 20 eggs, which means there was 1,600 eggs out there across the field, over there. That was a lot of pre, a lot of planning, moms. That was really good. But yeah, it's over, so now the kids are gonna be really sugared up for the car ride. <laughs> Not really looking forward to that, but that's all right, it's all right. It's all about the celebration. One of the biggest misconceptions about RV life is that the kids aren't socialized, and I think this can debunk that myth because there was 104 families here at this rally. Look at all the kids. And actually, this is not even all the kids. Some of the families left already. This is what it looks like. They put on events like the Easter egg hunt. We put on events like for St. Patrick's Day. I traded Nixon all my got a golden egg. egg. Did you see what's inside? And that's what this is all about. It's a huge community. Everybody is having an amazing time. It's been pretty amazing. All right, let's go get a sound bite from Prince Ryder. Ryder, what do you got going on? A bunch. Ryder is a man of few words, that means a lot of business over here. Let's transition over to an event that was 15 days before Easter. And today is St. Patrick's Day. So they have a lot of festivities going on right now over at the pavilion. So I'm gonna show you what is going on over there. They have tons of crafts. We're gonna have a potluck later on today. I'm actually half Irish, half Italian. So St. Patrick's Day, we celebrate. And I could not believe that I actually found something green to wear in the closet. Yes, I normally, I was trying to show you my outfit. I normally wear all black, and I was like, ah, well, I guess I'm not wearing green today, but then I totally forgot I had this dress. Thanks, Aiden. You feeling lucky? You think you're gonna win? Holy moly, that's a lot of kids. Tara! This is a great example of how important community is on the road. For many years, we traveled alone, and once we found this community, it reinvigorated our adventures. Oh, you gotta do the leprechaun head. Ah, oh, he's so cute. I got five, right. And while we're talking about how amazing this community is, let's go check out our friends Tara and Joe and see what they're doing because they're hosting a World Share event and giving back to the community. Today we are assembling 1,000 impact kits for the community here in Florida with this full-time families rally of people. I am so blown away by people's desire to help other people and we just want to inspire others to serve and to share love and encouragement with people wherever they go. I am really excited about this room full of people here who will be impacted to go and leave a legacy everywhere they go from this point forward. And we love that they love to serve. Here we go, one, two, three. <laughs> Teamwork make the dream work. <laughs> oh, it was fantastic. Community, connection, meeting new people, learning new things. Uh, we always love our time here in Madison. Yeah, what was one of your highlights? Like, what was something you're like, damn, that was freaking. The charcuterie party uh, that uh, World Chair, my wife Tara, we got to put on. It was amazing. There's a ton of boards and people getting together and saw the creativity of the group. Um, then I did the sports camp as well. So hanging out with those little kids and teaching them skills and uh, being a coach in their life, that was, uh, that was a highlight too. And then the last thing was all the fires. I think sitting around fires with people I probably wouldn't have in, in my normal sticks and bricks life. So, you know, being a part of people. As you can imagine, there are a lot of events happening over that 30 days in Madison at the Full-Time Families Rally. If you're looking for community on the road, definitely check out their website to see when the next events are going on at fulltimefamilies.com. And if you're looking for some fun over the summer, we are hosting a 4th of July extravaganza right, in Idaho. So join us for some good old-fashioned family fun and fireworks. Send us a DM on Instagram or leave us a comment here for more details. We have to head back and uh, pack up the RV. It looks like we're having a garage show over there right now. All right, so a little breeze picked up over here and it was blowing away the tent. So my wonderful neighbor came out over here and put it back in its place. But it's a little windy out here for sure. But it looks like we're having a garage sale, but we're not. All this stuff was in the tent. Some of it got wet. We look, uh, we look like a ragtag bunch of homeless people right now, but we're gonna be cleaning this up and be hitting the road pretty soon. Roxy's over there freaking out for some reason. Not really sure why. Oh, settle down, baby. It's okay. You wanna say hi? Oh, that's what you wanted. You want a little cameo on camera, huh? How you doing over here? Are you doing good? You doing good, Roxy? Yeah, you're doing good. 
All right, I think it's time to cut to a time lapse of us putting all this stuff away so we can start getting on the road. It's about 12 o'clock right now. It gets dark around seven or so, so hopefully we'll be able to get a few miles in before it gets dark, so cut to time lapse. All right, so as you can tell by the time lapse sequence that we just came out of, we're not really 100% there yet, and it's getting dark. I think we made the executive decision to try to push off tomorrow. I don't think we're gonna be able to do it tonight, so we're gonna get everything loaded up. We're gonna be 100% ready to go. All right, so let's cut back to a time lapse sequence and see what else I can get packed away in here before it gets too late. All right, it's getting late. I'm getting tired. It's about 8.30 at night. Sandy, let's get a little sound bite from you. Well, I'm exhausted. I really didn't even help that much today because my back has been out of whack. You can see I'm kind of like, eh. But um, yeah, I feel like every night, every day now, I'm really tired and I just want to go to bed at like 8 o'clock. So that's not actually going to be possible though. Just getting the kids fed, finishing up the last couple things, and then I think I'm going to go to bed early tonight because tomorrow we're going to have to leave early. Travel day. We haven't traveled in a month, so it's a little different, you know? You get used to sitting somewhere for a while. Let's check on Ryder real quick. How you doing over here? Good. Hungry. <laughs> when someone blames their farts on you. All right. Night night, guys. I want the bed bugs bite. What is it, about 11 o'clock, 11.30 at night? We got the outside completely done. We got a little bit more work to do here on the inside, but we'll get to it in the morning. So let's get back at it in the morning and start our long 1,000 mile journey. Eight in the morning, we're back at it. Look at the beautiful sunrise behind me. But let's switch around to Sandy and see what she's doing over here. Sandy, what the heck's going on? So Jimmy just changed the oil. I'm here helping him. I'm holding a little water bottle for uh... <laughs> Stability. Yeah, this is the last one before we hit the road. And now we know we got nice clean oil. All right, you want to double check everything is tight and all that? Good job. Good job. All right, we are all packed up. It's time to hit the road. A thousand mile journey ahead to freezing cold Elkhart, Indiana. Let's go. Well, we're gonna leave this one on a bit of a cliffhanger, so make sure to watch out for our next video. But before we go, check out this little guy, Ethan, that stopped us at the gas station. Um, so we were basically just driving by, and I saw pink hair, and I'm like, I know that ant from anywhere. So I told mom, oh my God, it's trying something new. And then we had to turn back. She went all the way up there, and we had to turn around, and I just wanted to say hi. Yeah. Thank you. you. All right, man, whatever you do, get out there and try something new, all right? <laughs> Look, Hi, guys. You got to seize the moment, guys. Seize the moment. All right, guys, have a good one. So cute.